This video will demonstrate how to use the RGD molecular pathway diagrams. The complete list of available diagrams can be accessed from the RGD pathways page by clicking the tab or the button on the RGD homepage labeled pathways. On the resulting page, click on molecular pathways individual diagram pages to see the comprehensive list of available diagrams. Notice that the list is divided into five categories, classic metabolic pathway, signaling pathway, regulatory pathway, disease pathway, and drug pathway. Alternatively, you can access the pathway diagrams through the pathway ontology, RGD's controlled vocabulary of pathway terms. From the RGD homepage, you can access all of the ontologies in use by RGD by clicking the button labeled Function. On the resulting page, you can search for a term of interest or browse any of the vocabularies to find terms. Click on PW Pathway Ontology to access the RGD Ontology Browser, where you can browse through the ontology. Note that the five categories we mentioned earlier are the five child terms of the top term pathway. In the Ontology Browser, you can tell whether there is a diagram for a particular term or for one or more child terms by viewing the icons next to the text. An orange A means that RGD has annotations available for that diagram, that is, that term, or at least one of its children, is associated with a specific set of genes. A dark colored D means that there is a pathway diagram available for that term specifically. A light colored D means that there is a pathway diagram for at least one child term of that pathway, meaning that if you click on child terms with a light colored D, you will eventually reach a term with a dark colored D icon. Some pathways do not have a diagram available yet. Looking at the Ontology Browser, click on the child term Regulatory Pathway, then on Pathway Pertinent to DNA Replication and Repair, Cell Cycle, Maintenance of Genomic Integrity, RNA and Protein Biosynthesis. The resulting child term Chromatin Modification Remodeling Pathway will appear with both a light and a dark color D next to it, meaning that there are diagrams for both that pathway and a child term. Click on that term. Notice that because the selected term has a diagram, in addition to the icons mentioned previously, there's a thumbnail of the diagram. This thumbnail, the dark green D icon, and the link that says View Interactive Diagram all link to the diagram page. If you then click on the child term, Chromatin Modification Pathway, with the light color D next to it, you will see its child term, Histone Modification Pathway. Click on the dark color D next to that term. On the resulting page, you should see the diagram for the term histone modification pathway. At the top of the page, you will see the option to view the ontology report for the pathway. This opens another tab or window on your browser so you can easily toggle back and forth between the diagram and the ontology report. On top of the ontology report page is a thumbnail of the pathway diagram which again links to the diagram page. Below the ontology report link on the diagram page is a description for the pathway diagram, detailing its various components and interactions. Click on more to see the entire description. At the end of the description, there's another link to the ontology report page for that pathway term. Click less to hide the bulk of the description. The diagram itself consists of a number of different icons. Each icon represents a component of the pathway such as a protein or small molecule, a downstream effect such as gene expression, or a connected pathway. The legend on the left indicates the data types represented by each shape. This particular pathway diagram consists of proteins, small molecules, a cell process, other pathways, complexes, and a functional class. You can click on any of these interactive features to open another page and obtain more information about that entity. The kind of page which opens depends on the entity itself. For instance, where a protein icon corresponds to a single protein, clicking on it will open the RGD gene for that protein. The default is RAT, but in some cases this could be the human page. Where the icon represents any of a group of proteins, it will open a page with a list of possible participants, which in turn link to the report page for each. In the same way, icons for functional classes link to an RGD page showing a list of members of that class. Small molecule icons can be linked 
to a variety of sites including the Kebby Ontology Report page in RGD, Wikipedia, or PubChem. In certain cases, a structural change in a protein such as methylation or phosphorylation is important for its function in the pathway. For these, the small molecule icon representing the altered moiety links to the corresponding protein database, or PDB, entry for the structure. Related pathway icons link to the ontology report page for that pathway. If the related pathway has a diagram, this is accessible from the ontology report page. If you click on any of the links in the diagram, you can use your browser's back button to return to the diagram. The various lines between the different shapes show what relation the two entities have as indicated by the legend on the left. In this pathway, you can see regulation, binding, and protein modification. Although not listed in the legend of the default relationships, a plus icon means upregulation and a bar across the line denotes downregulation. Mouse over the relationship icon to see the participants and their relationship. For example, Compass complexes upregulate gene expression. Directly under the diagram is a list of links to additional information about the components of the pathway. Click a link to go directly to that section of the page or scroll down through the sections. The first section indicates the genes in that pathway. The default is for rat, but you can view the genes for mouse and human as well using the tabs at the top of the table. You can choose to sort the table by symbol, name, position, or reference in either ascending or descending order. You can also download the list formatted as a tab delimited text file which can be opened in Excel or another spreadsheet program. Scrolling down the screen again, you will reach another table listing the disease annotations associated with the genes in the histone modification pathway. You can view the table information by disease or by gene. Scrolling further down, you will see a similar table listing other pathway annotations associated with genes in the histone modification pathway. As with the disease annotations, you can view the table information by pathway or by gene. Below this, if any genes in the pathway are associated with the specific mammalian phenotype terms, this will be indicated in the analogous phenotype annotations table. At the bottom of the page is a list of references for the histone modification pathway and the ontology path diagram showing the tree structure between that pathway and the root of the ontology. If you have a copy of Elsevier's Pathway Studio software, use the link at the bottom of the page to save the GPP file and open it in the software. On a final note, the histone modification pathway is part of two of RGD's pathway suite networks, the Gene Expression and Regulation Pathway Suite Network and the S. adenosylmethionine homeostasis pathway suite network. Scrolling back up to the top of the page, click on the menu item in the blue bar labeled Molecular Pathways. In the right column on the resulting page is a list of pathway suites and suite networks. Pathway suites are groupings of related pathways. Where appropriate, these suites are further grouped into suite networks, as indicated by the hierarchical listing here. Looking at the Gene Expression and Regulation Pathway Suite Network, you can see that it is composed of the Epigenetic Regulation Control, Chromatin Modification Remodeling, Transcription and Transcription Coupled Events, and RNA Maturation, Transport, and Surveillance, QC, and Protein Translation Pathway Suites. Clicking on the Gene Expression and Regulation Pathway Suite Network, you will see a diagram showing the pathways involved in the network. Individual pathways in the diagram are grouped into suites by the color-coded background shading. Intermediaries that are outputted by one set of pathways and used as input for another set of pathways are shown as green shaded rectangles. Here you can see that histone modification pathway is part of the first suite in the network. Scrolling down on the page, you can find more information about each suite and its component pathways. A link to the diagram page for each individual pathway is provided. For more information about pathway diagrams or about RGD, please contact us at the following link. Thank you for watching.